Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd give you a little glimpse of how the morning milking routine goes with my robotic goat tractor. And uh, this is what I see pretty much every morning when I show up. It's about two minutes until the pen moves by itself, so we'll catch that on video. And uh, just show you around a little bit before it starts. Uh, there's the cat waiting for a little drink of milk. There's my milk bucket and jar and a bucket of water. And this brown thing here is the guts of my automatic mechanism. And uh, if you look real closely, you can see a cable, steel cable that goes to the pen and uh, connects to the front of the pen. And in just a minute here, it will start moving by itself and uh, give the goats some new forage, which they really like a lot. Um, back behind the pen here, you can see some uh, used forage. This thing already moved at 7 a.m. this morning, and uh, I had a program move at... Uh, I had it set for 2 a.m. also. It does 10 p.m. and then 2 a.m. and then 7 in the morning. Goats like to sleep part of the night. Um, got a little tarp there to keep the wind off them. And, uh, you know, if you look, look close at them, you can see how fat they are. This, uh, Moving to new forage every hour really seems to be good for their health, um, even more than before, because they're just getting new new forage every hour, and it's just so good for them. Their milk production is really good as well. We're getting about, oh, here we go. So I'll stand back, and you can see this thing move. So it moves slow enough to where they just walk along with it, and it moves about one pen length, about 10 feet, and uh, I've got the caster wheels on the front locked right now so it goes in a straight line, but I can unlock them and wheel this thing around and aim it different directions. Okay, so that's their new new position and uh, you can see here that uh, we're getting pretty close to the mechanism so in a minute I'll be resetting that and uh, it's real easy to do that I just have a wire connected on this thing and there's a stake in the ground right there it holds it firm I just pull that out of the ground use the stake as a t-handle in this wire here and then just pull it 100 feet down the line with the winch to the freewheeling position and uh, it just moves and slides like a sled about 100 feet down the line and that sets me up for about uh, eight or nine more moves and that'll get them through most of the day and then I'll reset it again and that'll get them through the night time and the early morning so um, that's my system and it seems to be working really well um, big picture the reason we're doing this this is called holistic managed grazing and it's a, a ranching system set uh, designed by a guy named Alan Savory and um, he figured it out by observing nature and studying wild herds of animals that like to graze um, you know buffalo and wildebeest and 
other types of herbivores and uh, he figured out that it could be applied to any type of herbivore domestic herbivores cattle sheep goats and uh, it's just an excellent system for making the animals themselves a lot more healthy and it uh, it makes the pasture itself a lot more healthy and a lot more productive too. Um, as an example, using holistic managed grazing, you can actually increase the number of cattle that you raise per acre by double or even triple, depending on how long you do it. Um, if I were to put cattle on my pasture right now, I could stock them at twice the rate that my neighbors would be able to stock um, simply because of the management system and I would probably be able to do even more than that and certainly over time as the pasture health improved because of this style of management I could stock maybe as much as four times what my conventional cattle rancher neighbors can stock so it's an amazing system not only is it more far more productive um, it's much better for the, the pasture and actually improves the health of the pasture year after year. Um, improves the health of the animals, improves the health uh, of the, the food produced by the animals, whether you're talking about milk or meat or eggs or, or whatever. Truly a great system and now this system that I've got um, is really all about reducing the labor required. Um, so now these animals can get brand new forage every hour with almost no labor at all uh, from me because of the automatic system. So I'm going to shut the video off and uh, go inside the pen and milk. Um, I have a little milking stanchion here. It's just a real simple setup. Um, Two boards on a screw and then I've got a little salt lick in there for them and uh, I have a plastic bag trash sack filled with straw that I bring down here and sit on and so that makes it's almost like a beanbag chair so I can milk and then over here I've got a bunch of buckets and just take this down so you can see that Round tarps are really work well because you can put them on any side that you need them depending on whichever side the wind is blowing. And uh, take them down when it's nice weather. Fold them up. But uh, here's the water pail. It just rides along with the tractor and the goats eat out of it. On icy days, I break it up. It's rubber so you can manage ice no problem. Got a bucket here with a brush and some Dawn for scrubbing my pail. I've got some leaves, got some molasses in here, various experiments ongoing. But the uh, main thing is uh, the goats are just real happy with this system. You can see how healthy they look, how pretty they are. And if you get from this side, you can see how fat they are. See the width of that gal right there. She's uh, in very good shape and they're both producing um, really good quantity of milk with no purchased grain at all um, so that's really a neat thing about this system most uh, dairy goat people say that you have to give them a lot of grain to keep their milk production going and that's just not true it's just a myth of our society you don't have to give them a lot of grain um, you have to Keep them healthy and this system keeps them healthy naturally they do get a little bit of grain naturally by eating some seed heads here and there you can see quite a bit of seed heads on my pasture and uh, some people would say my pasture looks terrible because it's overgrown but the truth is it's supposed to be that way nature is different than what most farmers think it is and one way that it's different is pasture is supposed to be grown long with seed heads and the animals can then eat some of the seed heads and it's uh, much healthier for them to eat grass with seed heads. Um, 
So that's about it for now. Uh, I think you get an idea of how beautiful it is out here. And it's just, I just love this system of, of farming to me. It's just a dream come true to be able to do this. And uh, when I go in there and milk, it's nice and clean. It's not stinky like some barns. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys later.